So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Power Week, which means that the Power BI team must release a new Power BI desktop update at this time, October 2019. Yeah, I know, it is November, but I haven't had the time to do this, so better late than never, right? So what is this new file format? PBIDS, Power BI Direct Source, I think it's called. Uh, and it is basically the same as a connector as you will get in Power BI, but it's a file. So you say it is a combination between a template file, you know, Power BI template file and a Power BI connector. So it has some of the things of the one and some of the other ones. A bit weird. Here's the thing. Um, this is meant for organizations to give a shortcut to a source that they normally use. So let's say that you're using the Salesforce and you know you want your users to have a file where they click on it and all the the authentication will not happen on the file. But it will be filled which uh, database it is, which URL they have to connect to. So all the connection details are in there, except for the authentication part. So it's like a template that has filled in the, the connection details, or like a connector that has filled in the connection details, you know? And uh, this is what they say. It says, here's an example of a previous file. And then they, they put in some code there. And I was like, what am I supposed to do with that? Are you kidding me? So this is what I did. I mean, I know that if you come from IT world, did you know exactly, or maybe you don't, but I'm guessing that you have a better chance to know exactly what this is. I was clueless. So you, I went in there, pasted it, but it was just by lag. You pasted it in there, and then here you have to put the server name. This is for an SQL connection. Here you put server name, here you put the database, and then you save these as SQL PBIDS, Power BI Direct Source. And then you save it. Okay, so I already have it there. It's the same. So you just save it as P PBIDS and it will save in here. And then once you have it, you click on it and it will open a Power BI file that has that specific server connection and database. If you specify it on the file, so the only thing the user needs to do is authenticate. Now, I understand a little bit the point of this in a sense that it's, it's good to have somewhere a shortcut to where I should connect. I have two improvement ideas, if you would call them like that. The first one is, it's not always obvious the method of authentication, to be honest. So here we have it. Now I don't have a real database or server, but it doesn't matter. So for SQL, you use Windows or you use Microsoft Outlook the, uh, um, account, depending on where your SQL it is. And I promise you, report creators probably, most likely, do not know this. So they will have to contact you either way. So this is one thing. For example, if it is a database or, or data set that is uh, completely, you know, is anonymous, good. But now the second thing, my second point is, where do you put these files? Do you put them in SharePoint somewhere? But if your users are not used to that or do not have access to that, where? Where do you put this so them they actually find them? I, I don't, I don't see the actual vision of it. I don't see how it will actually practically work. So here is the second improvement on my side anyhow. You know, for custom visuals, you go in here, import from marketplace, and then you have two options. You have to import from marketplace for real from the app source, and then you have my organization. And here you can, import visuals that your Power BI administrator has created for the organization and they are approved. I would love to see the same experience for get data. Okay, so when you go in here, get data, there is here 
my organization connections or whatever you want to call it. And then when you click on it, you get these Power BI file sources in there. And then you can have actually some information that use your Windows account or use your, you know, whatever to authenticate. Because it's not obvious what you need to do to, to authenticate to these things. So that would be my feedback. Without those two things, I don't know how this would be useful, but maybe because with custom visuals, it started the same way, you know, first they gave us a custom visual extension and then they create the marketplace. So hopefully there's going to be a marketplace for custom connectors. And this is the start of it, which that would make me excited, really excited. That would be fantastic, both for the organization and then for partners to actually create their custom connectors. Yes, for sure. But this thing alone? Question mark. Now, so you have to educate me. What are you using it for? If you are, what am I missing? I'm, I'm obviously missing something. But anyhow, those were my two cents on this. And uh, let me know how you see this. I will see you again probably tomorrow. Until then, good evening and bye-bye.